Delray, uh, thanks for joining us from the other side of the world. Just just tell us where you are at the moment. Yeah, over in over in Sydney, Australia. Um, playing in the New South Wales Premier League, and um, it's been enjoyable so far. And been a, been a good few months, and it's not a not a big month to go. And you know, really enjoying it. I think um, we're speaking to you just a couple of days after your first uh, your first hundred for for your club, Sydney. Is that right? Yeah, first hundred. Um, it was nice to you know finally get some runs. I've been sort of struggling in that department a little bit, um, but you know I said finally nice to finally get some runs, and hopefully this is sort of my purple patch for a little while, and I can you know, kick on and get through more. And uh, obviously coming into some form with the bat, but you've uh, you've been really impressing with um, with your left arm spin. There's some really good performances uh, with the ball. Yeah, I've been bowling bowling really well actually. Um, I've I've really enjoyed my bowling and um, I've been you know quite pleased with the way I've, I've done so far and sort of that's been been working quite a lot with Stu and twice a week and I've been bowling quite a lot and then you know obviously club training as well so sort of feel like I'm better, better benefiting there and and um, now nah, really enjoying it yeah. Bowling really. And you mentioned Stu that's that's Stuart McGill obviously the um, Australian. Uh, Leg spinner. Uh, what, what's that been like working with um, working with a, a bit of a, a test test match legend? Yeah, no, he's been brilliant. Um, you know, it's been nice to to have someone, even when we're not at training, like I can you know pop over a message to and, and you know ask him, oh, you know, something didn't go right today. You know, what 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 do you reckon? And you know, just talks about you know going back to your basics and stuff and or what what you talked about. You know, your best ball. And, you know, when we when we do go to our sessions, he's been he's been brilliant. You know, he offers a lot of advice and you know, try this, try this, and see what works for you. And you know, I found some a couple of things that have worked for me so far, and keep working with him twice a week, sometimes three times a week. But, you know, we have yet another option with him. And now he's been he's been really good. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed our sessions and great bloke as well. And so I think um, through your work with, with with Stuart McGill, has that involved um, a bit of time with the New South Wales squad? Yeah, we managed to get in um, once or twice, and then bowl it, bowl it some of the state players, um, which is quite nice. You know, obviously quality players and the SCG is a quality facility, quality nets. Um, so yeah, no, it was, it was, that was that was quite a good, nice experience, and nice to be around those guys. You know, the blue shirts and stuff, and um, you know, it's just really enjoyable. Yeah. Is there any any big names that we um, we, we might have heard of who you were training with during that time? Um, there were a couple of boys there that, that had played Big Bash um, that we bowled to. Um, I don't know if you might know Arjun there. Um, and then there was mainly you know a few of the bowlers, um, a few of the seamers. Um, I, mean, I think Ben Dorshus might have been there. He plays for the Sydney Sixers. Um, and then a couple of others who I don't think have quite made it into the Big Bash, but you know still play quite a lot of state stuff and quite popular around here. But um, that was yeah, like I said, it was a good experience and. Sort of good to see where I was at, you know, sort of with the ball and stuff, and see where I need to improve. And um, talking of the SCG, you had um, you had a trip with 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 Sydney, didn't you, for the uh, for the final of the New South Wales Twenty Twenty competition, which you won. That must have been pretty special. Yeah, no, it's you know to 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 play at such an iconic venue and you know walk down the stairs and be in the dressing room and see all the all the you know history around it and all the trophies and stuff that New South Wales are one up in, up in the dressing room and stuff it's, it's quite nice and to be able to experience that um, in my first sort of not even year first what two or three months here was, was was very nice and you know to go on and actually win the trophy you know it was massive for the club and you know it was quite a pleasing feeling for myself as well as you know the other 11, 12 boys 14 that took part in the, in the whole campaign You're being humble Delray because you were man of the match in that final weren't you? Yeah, I managed to get some runs. Um, you know, managed to get a few out the middle, which is quite nice, and get a few under the ropes and stuff. Um, so I was quite, you know, quite pleased with that in the end, and to, to help the boys to to push towards winning, you know, winning the grand final was was very pleasing and play a big role in that. You know, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Just, it was just good fun out in the middle. You know, enjoying enjoying T Twenty cricket with, with a few of the boys over here and a few mates over here it was you know, a nice feeling. And like I said, to win the trophy in the end was was the icing on, on top. Obviously, you've played um, England under nineteen cricket. You're you're on the um, international pathway. The overseas um, program you're on now is part of that. But you also joined up with the um, the England Lions for a, for a training session uh, earlier this winter. Was was that useful? Oh, very. 
Um, again, you know, some quality quality players there, and you know, managed to bowl out a few who played Test cricket and a few, you know, who were you know would go on to play in of in the squads and stuff nowadays. And again, another chance to see where I was at as a bowler, um, where I need to improve, and also just to mix with with some of those guys, you know, and, and some of the, some of the you know sort of bigger names around county cricket and stuff. And it was enjoyable to be around those. You know, we actually got involved quite a lot. You know, played football with them in the warm ups and stuff. And were able to you know get involved with a bit of field and stuff but no it was, it was really enjoyable and just to be around the group and around all the coaches and stuff and you know really enjoyed the week and obviously um george garton involved with the Lions, so you would have seen him then but lots of sussex players out in australia and including in um, the new south wales competition with uh, with abby and, uh, and and ollie robinson have you had a chance to spend time with them and and, and stay in touch with the sussex boys yeah, no, obviously, you know, quite a lot of connection connection over here. And um, I think I think it was the third round I played and Ollie's second round, we actually played against each other, um, which was, you know, quite nice. Obviously, we're, we're good mates back, you know, generally. And, you know, we speak, we speak quite a lot you know, on a daily basis, really. Um, and I managed to get him out, which is which is quite enjoyable. And we, you know, we had it that night, but no, I, didn't, I didn't speak about it. We just, uh, just kept that, you know, on the field and stuff. But now he's... <laughs> It's been a joy, but I've, I've kept in touch with Ollie quite a lot, and we do, you know, we do a little bit of training um, with each other, you know, a bit of extra stuff. And um, I haven't spoke to, I've spoke to Abby a little bit, but I haven't seen him as much. He's probably a bit further away, but I'm pretty sure in the, in the near future we'll, we'll probably have a catch up soon, or lunch, or something, or, or catch up over dinner or something. But yeah, quite a lot of boys out there, which is quite nice, you know. The weather back home is not always ideal for a winter, so to get you know quite a few boys out there is quite nice. Sussex boys on tour. <laughs> and so, um, talk, uh, talking Sussex uh, Sussex players, obviously um, Joffre and uh, Tamal and Luke in the in the big bash. Have you managed to catch any big bash action? I haven't actually. Um, unfortunately, I was I wasn't I wasn't in um, Australia when Joff and T came over to play, um, and I don't think I was here when when Wrighty came over either. So um, in Sydney, you mean? I'm, yeah, in Sydney, yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't over. I didn't. I, unfortunately, I didn't. Get to get to go and see, but you know they they play the Sixers actually playing tonight, and, which is a training night, so um, sort of had to miss that one. But would have been nice to experience it. But um, you know I speak to Joff on a daily basis and keep in touch with him, and he's you know he's going really well. I'm really happy for him actually, and just hoping that he can keep doing well for the for Hobart. And we've been picking up uh, back here in Hove the. Um the sort of uh, excitement surrounding Joffre's performances, is that something in Australia that's been big news? Oh, massively, yeah. I mean, every time I go to training or we're at games and stuff, the boys are like, oh, you know, do you know Joff and stuff? And he'll ring me while I'm at a game or something like that, you're talking to Joff there. But man, yeah, he's, he's, he's a massive hype around him. I hear him rightly say, you know, he's smashing it up, he's doing really well. He's bowling quick, taking wickets and, you know, also hitting a few and, and, and feeling really well, so... Really happy for him. Obviously, really close mate of mine, and hopefully he can keep doing the business and and um, you know get the boy get those Hobart boys to to a final as well. As well as T, T's done done really well as well. You know, bowling quick as well and taking poles. So hopefully the, the Sussex duo of, of pace can you know help and help Hobart to bring some silverware. And then looking ahead for the rest of uh, your winter, you um you were selected for the uh, for the South side in the um in the North South the uh, the ECB North South. South competition in the West Indies that, that must be something to look forward to yeah definitely I mean it was a bit of a surprise uh, I'm not going to lie um, but you know very nice to sort of have my name in that pool of players and to be able to go out there and you know showcase what I can do and just be around that sort of group of players would be would be nice and you know a bit a massive learning curve for me and I'll be able to learn from some, some really good county players and players that who played international cricket or you know will go on to play international cricket um, but no, it would just be a really nice experience for me and just looking forward to it really. I'm, I'm buzzing, I can't, really, can't wait to get out there and, and that should be enjoyable too. Really. And then finally, um, looking to the to the county season, uh, it, the weather's not very nice here at the moment, but uh, is part of you missing Hove and looking forward to getting back? Oh yeah, most definitely. As a, you know, I pretty much call it home now and just looking forward to getting going with the Sharks really. You know, obviously if you want to finish strong here with Sydney and stuff, but you know, looking forward to when that time comes, getting going with the Sharks and hopefully, you know, starting the season well and pushing on to sort of, you know, have a successful campaign. Um, you know, some, 
nice young squad with, with a bit of experience as well and some exciting players. So hopefully we can we can you know do well this year and you know push push to try and win some trophies or you know just show the other teams that that we're about and what we're about and be positive. And of course, um, a new head coach since we last spoke. Uh, have you have you had a chance to speak to Dizzy? No, I haven't. Um, I know he's quite busy with a big bash and stuff. Um, so I'm assuming you know when that's sort of done and dusted, he'll start getting in touch. But no, I haven't managed to speak to him. Um, but no, again, just really excited for the opportunity to work with him and and you know try and win some games of cricket for him as well as you know learn off him. And he's got a vast amount of experience and you know be nice to pick his brains and listen to some of his stories about about the game. So the pre-season tour um, in in March that'll be your first chance to really uh, get to know the, the new coach and things like that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like I said, never met him before, but you know, it'd be a chance for him to see see how I go and and you know the rest of the boys as well, and just you know get to know me as a person as well. Just really looking forward to it. Be, be really really nice. Fantastic. Well, we're we're looking forward to having you back here, uh, Del Racing. Um, seeing some of the, the, the skills you've developed over the winter in action uh, next summer and um, wish you the very best for the rest of your time out in, uh, out in Australia. Thank you very much. Looking forward to be back. Catch you soon.